In this video, I'm going to go over how you can manage and process Amazon orders more efficiently using Freestyle Commerce. So here, I've already logged into my Amazon Seller Central account, and you can see there are a couple orders here. These top two are fulfilled by merchant, which is denoted by the fulfillment method, being seller. And then I have a third order here, which is fulfilled by Amazon, and this is my FBA order. Freestyle helps you manage both types of orders, allowing you to process and ship orders that you as the merchant fulfill, and also to keep track of all completed FBA orders. So this way you can track all of your orders from a centralized location, as well as monitor inventory supplied to Amazon by creating virtual FBA bins in the warehouse. So first, let's explore how you process and ship a regular fulfillment by merchant order. For those of you who do sell on Amazon, you're aware that Amazon doesn't release an order for at least 30 minutes due to its return policy. And so all new orders come in like this one in the pending status. Once that order is released to you as the merchant to process, it's going to be marked as unshipped, like this one here. At that point, Freestyle will import the order and queue it up for processing. Before we go over and look at Freestyle, let me just click in this order here. Now upon pulling the order into Freestyle, Freestyle is going to associate an order number with it. And that's this order right here, order number 1051. So let's go ahead and flip over to Freestyle now and look at that order 1051 and start processing it. So here in Freestyle, I'm going to come to my Orders tab and say View All Orders. And we're going to look for that order 1051. And here it is on this top line right here. Going across, you can see that this order happens to be in the processing status. And you can also tell by the fulfillment type here, denoted by this little warehouse, that it is a warehouse item versus if you look further down here on this line item, the little parachute, which notes that it happens to be something that I drop ship. So let's go ahead and take a look in this particular order. So I'm going to click on the order to go into the order summary. Here on the order summary screen, we can see all of the information that Freestyle just pulled down from Amazon. So you can see you know, the customer name, the order date, how it was paid. The bill to information would re be represented right here. Over here to the right, you can see that as far as the order status, it is in the processing status. This channel order ID, this is the channel order ID assigned by Amazon. So if I was to click on this, this would actually take me right into that order within Seller Central. Below that, you can see the channel name. Now, this is important for those of you who sell in a multi-channel environment. Maybe you're bringing in orders from Amazon as well as you know, a Magento store or eBay or whatever the case. And that channel would be denoted right here where it says channel name. So you can see at quick glance what channel that order came from. Looking a little bit further down, here again you see all the details with that order. And in the status here, you can see that that order happens to be in the picking status. So let's go ahead and let's go into the shipping screen so we can see what our warehouse is seeing. So to do that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to Orders, View Shipments. And this is the view that the people in my warehouse are going to see. Now, some of you have your warehouse separated out, and so you have you know, a picking station, a packing station, and a shipping station. Others of you have one station, and there's one or however many people all utilizing the same station. In any event, Freestyle gives you an organized way to represent which orders reside in which stage of the process. So here you can see I have a Ready to Pick tab. And on that Ready to Pick tab, if you look down here, this very first line item is that order number 1051 that just came down from Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to toggle that off now. And I'm going to say, print my pick ticket. So my pick ticket is going to open in a new window. And the pick ticket is pretty standard. You, know, you have your bill to, ship to information, the order date, whatever warehouse you have that item assigned to. You'll notice there are two barcode scans here. These, uh, for this case, are reference IDs. So if you utilize barcode scanners, which we do support wired barcode scanners right now, 
you'd be able to scan either this barcode or this one to either reference the order itself or the shipment if need be. Down here you can see we do have the bin. Now this bin and the naming convention behind that is up to you as the merchant. So rather than putting you know, Amazon Dida and the SKU, you could have used this as a way to organize your warehouse. So in some cases, some merchants utilize this to say, you know, row five, shelf two, or wherever it is that you actually store that item. So it's a great way to organize your warehouse. Going along the line, you do have the option to add an image right here. Um, I do not have that enabled on this particular item, but that is an option within Freestyle. Next, you have the product name, the SKU, and of course, the quantity that needs to be picked for that order. Down here, you will notice a third barcode. And this is the barcode that you would scan if using the scanners to mark that item as picked so that it moves over to the packing station. So let's go ahead and close that out now. And now you can see that it's been successfully picked. And so now I'd move over to my ready to pack stage. So I click on this ready to pack tab. And you can see here this top line item is that order number 1051 again. From here, I'm going to toggle that off, and I'm going to say, print my packing slip. So the packing slip opens in a new window. On the packing slip, you do have the option to customize it with your company logo, as well as your contact details on the upper right-hand corner. Again, your bill to and ship to information, your order date. There are those order and shipping reference IDs again. But this time, you're going to notice another barcode down at the bottom here. And this is because we do have scan and pack functionality available. And we've actually got a great color coding system in place. So when you scan this barcode and then you scan the actual barcode on the item, it's a great checks and balances to have in place. Um, Freestyle will notify the packer whether in fact it is the correct item and also the correct quantity of that item that's being packed. If you'd like to learn more about the scan and pack functionality, we do have a specific video as it pertains to that functionality. In any event, in addition to that, you also have, again, the SKU, the quantity, and the product name. So let's go ahead and close that out. And now you can see that that one item has been successfully packed. And so now I'm going to click on my Ready to Ship tab. From here, once again, I look at that top line item. I toggle that off. And I can come down here and I say print my shipping label. Now in its current state, Freestyle seamlessly integrates with UPS, USPS, FedEx, Shipworks, and ShipStation. So for this particular shipment, I had chosen UPS Ground. So Freestyle actively communicated with UPS to create the shipment, the shipping label, which you see here on the screen, as well as this tracking information. From here, my shipper is going to print out the label and put it on the box, and the shipment's complete. At that point, once the shipment's complete, it's going to trigger a series of events in Freestyle, which is going to include updating the status in Amazon Seller Central as completed, as well as sending the tracking information. And this confirmation and tracking information will be sent to the customer as well, so they know that their order has been shipped. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what happened in Seller Central. So I'm going to flip back to my Seller Central screen. And I'm going to go ahead and down here you will notice a third barcode. And this is the barcode that you would scan if using the scanners to mark that item as picked so that it moves over to the packing station. So let's go ahead and close that out now. And now you can see that it's been successfully picked. And so now I'd move over to my ready to pack stage. So I click on this ready to pack tab. And you can see here this top line item is that order number 1051 again. From here, I'm going to toggle that off. And I'm going to say, print my packing slip. So the packing slip opens in a new window. On the packing slip, you do have the option to customize it with your company logo as well as your contact details on the upper right-hand corner. 
Again, your bill to and ship to information, your order date, there are those order and shipping reference IDs again. But this time you're going to notice another barcode down at the bottom here. And this is because we do have scan and pack functionality available. And we've actually got a great color coding system in place. So when you scan this barcode and then you scan the actual barcode on the item, it's a great checks and balances to have in place. Um, Freestyle will notify the packer whether in fact it is the correct item and also the correct quantity of that item that's being packed. If you'd like to learn more about the scan and pack functionality, we do have a specific video as it pertains to that functionality. In any event, in addition to that, you also have, again, the SKU, the quantity, and the product name. So let's go ahead and close that out. And now you can see that that one item has been successfully packed. And so now I'm going to click on my Ready to Ship tab. From here, once again, I look at that top line item. I toggle that off. And I can come down here and I say print my shipping label. Now in its current state, Freestyle seamlessly integrates with UPS, USPS, FedEx, ShipWorks, and ShipStation. So for this particular shipment, I had chosen UPS Ground. So Freestyle actively communicated with UPS to create the shipment, the shipping label, which you see here on the screen, as well as this tracking information. From here, my shipper is going to print out the label and put it on the box, and the shipment's complete. At that point, once the shipment's complete, it's going to trigger a series of events in Freestyle, which is going to include updating the status in Amazon Seller Central as completed, as well as sending the tracking information. And this confirmation and tracking information will be sent to the customer as well, so they know that their order has been shipped. So let's go back over to my Amazon Seller Central. And this is that order that we just processed. You'll see it's still in the unshipped status because I didn't refresh it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to refresh my screen. And now you can see that within Seller Central, that order has in fact been updated to shipped. And you can see a little bit further down that there's the tracking ID that was associated with it. As the buyer, if I go into my shopper account and I come over here, here it was preparing for shipment, but now let me refresh it and go back to my orders page. And now you can see that it has in fact been shipped. And if I go in, I can actually track that package as well. You can see then there again is the tracking number and Amazon shows you the status of where it is right here. So that completes the order process. You know, we placed the order as a buyer on Amazon. It came into your Amazon Seller Central account. Because it is an item that you fulfill by merchant, once it was released out of the pending status by Amazon, Freestyle was able to pull that order down and queue it up for shipping. We went ahead and we picked, packed, and shipped right within Freestyle. And once that order was completed, it sent it up both a completed status as well as the tracking information both to Seller Central and all the way out to the end customer. So now let's go ahead and take a look to see how Freestyle can help you with managing your fulfillment by Amazon orders. So let me go ahead and switch back to my Seller Central account. And when we first started, I showed you that I did have this order right here where the fulfillment method was Amazon. Now obviously Freestyle is not responsible for the picking, the packing, and the shipping of this particular item because it's going to be fulfilled by Amazon. However, it will still bring down the completed order once it's been marked as payment complete, meaning it has been successfully shipped by Amazon. The reason for this is twofold. First, Freestyle will then serve as your central repository for viewing all of the orders that are placed on your Amazon channel. This way you can see all your orders, whether they were fulfilled by merchant or fulfilled by Amazon, all in one place. This is not only important just so you have record, but in many cases you'll have customers who may have purchased at one point an item that you ship yourself and another time purchase an item that you have fulfilled by Amazon. So this way on that customer record, if that customer happens to call into your customer service, your free style representative can see 
orders fulfilled by both Amazon and Merchant right within that customer record. So once that order has been completed and actually shipped by Amazon, as I said, it will be marked as payment complete. And at this time, Freestyle will go ahead and pull that order down. So let's go back into Freestyle and let's look for this order ending in 223. So let's go back over to Freestyle. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to my Sync tab. And here's where I can see all the different sales channels that I have mapped to Freestyle. And as you can see, in addition to my Amazon sales channel, I also have two Magento stores that I'm pulling all of those orders in for processing as well in order to streamline my processes. So let me go ahead and take a look within my Amazon channel. And if I come over to my Orders tab here, now I can see all of the orders that came in from my Amazon channel. And if I move over to this Fulfilled By column, you can see which of those orders happen to be SBA orders or Fulfilled By Amazon versus those that are fulfilled by merchant. Now when we first started this presentation, I processed this order, number 1051, which was a fulfillment by merchant. And you'll see it has that completed status. The other order that I just looked at, ending in 223, you can see right here, and if I go across the line, you can see that was the fulfilled by Amazon or the FBA order. So this, again, serves as a central repository, so you can see all and any orders that come in through Amazon, whether they be orders that you fulfill yourself or if Amazon fulfills them for you. In addition, as I mentioned, if I come over to my customers and I go over to view all customers, and let me take a look at JG. On his customer record itself, I can see all of the orders that he's placed. So I can see all of the orders, whether they were fulfilled by Merchant or fulfilled by Amazon, right in one place. So now let's talk about how Freestyle helps you with managing the inventory with regard to the orders that you fulfill both by Merchant and by Amazon. So let me go over to this product record. And this is the product record for the CD that we just fulfilled by Amazon. However, I happen to actually fulfill it both by Merchant and Amazon. So when I come over here to my Inventory tab, you can see up here these top four tabs pertain to items that you fulfill yourself. So the available is what you have available to sell, and this is the number that's pushed out to Amazon or whatever sales channel that you sell on to say how many you actually have available that you can ship out yourself. So Amazon would now see this number of 25, saying that I have 25 that I can sell, that I can fulfill by merchant. Committed, or how many you have committed to an order. On order is how many units you have on order from a purchase order perspective. And then, of course, back order, if you have any that are on back order. For SBA items, you have this fifth line item, and this is called reserved for SBA. So you are not managing the inventory, Amazon is, because you've sent it up to them to actually process and ship it. However, you can create what we call a virtual FBA bin. This way you can have your own checks and balances to make sure that Amazon is reporting correct inventory values back to you. So initially I had sent up six of those CDs to Amazon to fulfill by Amazon. When I pulled in that completed order, Freestyle detracted one CD, saying that I now only have five CDs left with Amazon in inventory. So at the end of the month, when I receive a report from Amazon, assuming I don't sell any more of those CDs, they should tell me that I still, in fact, have five CDs with them. And if not, and there's a discrepancy, then that's something I have to discuss with Amazon. But in any event, this reserved for FBA bin serves as your checks and balances, just to make sure that the inventory levels that you think that you have with Amazon do reflect what they actually have in stock themselves. So that sums up how Freestyle can help you better manage both your fulfillment by merchant and your fulfillment by Amazon orders.